the other thing it's interesting is like what is the definition of monopoly right because <laughs> to me f1 has a monopoly on f1 racing right mm-hmm. because it's the only entity that does f1 racing uh so you know and even i mean i know that they're all designed differently but like baseball right you the mlb i guess technically you know there is other leagues quote unquote that are able to do baseball right football similar thing but really at a pro top level there's only the mlb there's only the nfl right Mm -hmm. um i i think that's where it gets really interesting is that the use of saying you know this is a monopoly on stock car racing it Mm -hmm. to me it seems kind of like or i'm trying to think of the term here it's a stretch (laughs) <laughs> right like it's mm-hmm. to me because i i think any of these entities are technically monopolies on a sport or whatever right um but because there's one would you start a league tomorrow you know obviously others have tried to start football leagues to go up against the nfl doesn't really work right others have tried to start you know there's there's numerous soccer leagues that sort of thing but the, you would say the premier league is the top dog right in the world okay Mm -hmm. do they have a monopoly on soccer right Mm -hmm. like i i just i find this to be a very tough use of the term monopoly it's you know this now if you're a group that owns let's just say let's go back to the 1800s you own all the railroads in the united states that could technically be a monopoly right so hold on a second monopoly simply having a monopoly is not illegal it's it's illegal when you use monopoly power to suppress competition, right? Got it. Unfairly. Yep. So you know NASCAR. Here we are. We're, so let's just, are we just oh, making good. legal arguments? We're getting too lo- legal. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, we're getting Hold too on. legal because <laughs> NASCAR is going to make an argument that they that they organically have earned this their superpower, right? Mm-hmm. That they are not they have not created some monopoly over other stock car racing leagues to be formed. Right, that yep. they're just they're just through through great execution, great you know infrastructure, great promotion of their sport over over seven you know six seven eight decades, um, they have earned the right to be the number one stock car racing league in the country by a by a long shot, yep. right? And it, and the teams can voluntarily choose to contract with NASCAR to race for NASCAR or with NASCAR. However you want to say it. Yep. I don't know what the legal right way to say in it is. NASCAR. So I don't know. <laughs> I I think yeah, we we once again we have to be careful not to get too legally because once again, we're not lawyers. We're not. Um and that's a great point. It's it's the monopoly monopolistic practices essentially, right? That's probably the allegation in a lot of respects. Um but it's just I, I think it just keeps going back to one simple thing. What are they trying to accomplish, right? Mm-hmm. Where are we trying to go here? And I don't know if we, we, know, we haven't right? truly have we truly seen that yet from the teams. No. I don't I don't know if we've truly seen that yet from the teams. It's always because been it, this it's, this you know sort of generalized request and statements and that sort of stuff of like it's unfair. It's not you know this isn't correct. Blah blah. blah but it's like okay, well, what is correct? What is fair? Mm-hmm. I don't think we've seen that. And I don't know if we will. Like, and I think your point is great. Was like we've only seen one side. We haven't seen the other side. We might not for a while. We might not even truly understand what the true goal is and the intention, right? For a long mm-hmm. time. And so then it's just, it's just, you know, in the legal system. Um, right, Josh, you and, have a point. I, I see Josh's chat here. He's he's okay. He's making comments from um, I think twenty three eleven. Yeah. So. Basically, what what it looks like more is their anti-competitive practices of owning a majority of the racetracks that NASCAR operates on, imposing exclusivity deals with sanctioned racetracks that aren't owned by NASCAR, acquiring ARCA, the only other notable stock car racing com- competitor, preventing teams from participating in any other races, as you were saying earlier, uh, while they also retain ownership over the next-gen parts and cars and forcing teams to buy parts from single-source suppliers. So they own the supply chain. They own the location in which they are 
uh, exhibiting their events, which, I mean, no other, I don't think NFL or MLB or any of them actually own the stadiums that they participate in. So if you wanted to go out and form another league to compete there, you can't, you can't do that similar thing here with NASCAR. So it's more of a vertical right. integration of monopolistic practices. Right. And, and you know, NASCAR is going to argue that that's not unusual for a sports league to have those strict regulations on suppliers and all that stuff It uh, in an effort to provide a quality product, right? Because the fans haven't suffered from these practices. In fact, the, they're going to make an argument that the fan base has benefited from uh, from these moves, right? They get a more quality on-track product. The cars look better. They race better. Um, they're more competitive on track. Like they're going to, they're going to say that this is just all, this is regular course of business for a professional sports league to have strict, you know, regulations and participation regulations in an effort to better organize, um, this league. Right. And they're going to say, that the ARCA thing is an acquisition to – is a defensive move, right, to, that promotes synergies in the sport, not exclusionary, right? They're not trying to block competitors with it. There's always been other stock car racing leagues in the country. There's still stock car – ARCA is not the only other stock car racing league in the country. There are ton, There are several stock car racing leagues in the country that exist. They just haven't – none of them have demonstrated this ability to organize, fund, create a series of comparable – of anywhere close to comparable quality to NASCAR, right? Th those are going to be um, the arguments. Well, you've got Cars I, Tour, I right? Right. It's like that. There you go. That's a stock car racing, late model stock car league. So <laughs> it does exist out there, and that's a great point. Um, mm -hmm. And the I whole idea you know, of the, the tracks, I don't really know how to the. Uh, and I, I, I think I'd have to do a little more research on the track argument. You know, it's like the idea of, well, they can't race on the same stage that, you know, the Cars Tour can't go to Daytona. But, I mean, I don't know. Why don't the other football leagues race at or, or play at, um, what am I trying, MetLife Stadium or something like that or whatever they're mm -hmm. called. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm, I'm coming up. <laughs> well, they, Maybe they do. They, I don't, they I don't do. know. They do play in other, like XFL plays in the same uh, stadiums. So, yeah. Yep. Well. Uh, I think we kind of can leave it there unless you have anything else you want to dive into because I just think we... at least leave it there because we're getting sucked yeah. into uh, talking about stuff that we don't actually know exactly. About. I, I, I just don't want to do that. We don't like, actually know and about like listeners I... and viewers. Yeah. Like, look, you know, we've basically this is the info. We're not, you know, I think it's interesting to discuss. It's obviously going to be a fascinating thing to unfold over the next coming months and years, whatever. Um, I think for uh. You know, us as viewers, like, there's just going to continue to be more information. We'll understand things more clearly as it goes along. But at this point, this is all we know, right? And yeah. it's part we'll of the show. There. 